We are here today to uh, um, commemorate this important event in our calendar, celebrating uh, World Cancer, Cancer Day, with the aim of uh, promoting and increasing awareness on cancer as an important public health issue in the world, but also important for Fiji. And in the process, strengthen our resolve and actions towards um, improving access to quality cancer care, which covers screening, early detection, treatment and palliative care. We know that cancer does not discriminate between ages, gender, race or beliefs. Anyone can get cancer and it can start almost anywhere in the human body. Cancer, as we know, occurs when some of the body cells grow and multiply uncontrollably, increasing the affected tissue girth, which can exert pressure on surrounding tissue, sometimes vital organs and structures, and also spread to other parts of the body. So when do uh, cancer develop? We don't fully understand all the factors that cause the gen genetic change in the cells that lead to uh, abnormal cell division. However, we know the factors that are associated with an increased risk of developing cancer. Familial hereditary factors or genetic predisposition, smoking, carcinogenic chemicals, exposure to radiation, obesity, inactivity, alcohol, and certain diseases are associated with various types of uh, cancers. As has been uh, alluded to earlier, cancer is one of the leading cause of death worldwide. Nearly one in six deaths around the world are attributed to cancer. In Fiji, it is estimated that we uh, diagnose 1,400 to 1,600 new cases each year. The World Health Organization's cancer country profile for Fiji showed that in 2018, 1,519 cases of cancer were diagnosed. And the common cancers were prostate, liver, and colorectal cancers in males. And in females, they were cancers of the breast, cervix, and uterus. 832 of 1519 cancers succumbed to the disease with a case fatality rate of 55%. Cancer has also been uh, estimated to account for 13.5% uh, of all premature NCD deaths in Fiji. I know these are gloomy statistics and a timely reminder for all of us. However, the good news is that cancers that make up the bulk of cancers we find in Fiji are treatable and treatable into remission so that those who get them can continue to live once treated a disease-free productive life with their loved ones in their communities if we get them diagnosed and treated them. The theme of this year's celebration marks the second year of the campaign Close the Care Gap which is about understanding the inequities in cancer care and taking actions to make the necessary progress to address it. What are the socio-economic factors, cultural factors, belief systems in our people that are creating the gap? The gap in knowledge and understanding of risk factors and diseases. The gap in timely access to care. And the gap in consistency of availability of appropriate care which are contributing to inequitable access to treatment and what can what we can do about them. We know that about 21% of cancers in Fiji can be attributed to infections. For example, the human papilloma virus and cervical cancer. Hence the importance of vaccination for our young, young girls. 14% are attributed to smoking. Hence the importance of smoking cessation. 4% are attributed to alcohol. Hence the importance of reducing or stopping alcohol intake altogether. Around one third of deaths from cancer are attributed to tobacco use, high body mass index, alcohol consumption, low fruit and vegetable intake, and the lack of physical activity. Hence the importance of a healthy lifestyle with a healthy diet and lots of physical activity. In my experience and from the experience of clinicians, 
uh, many of us have treated uh, cancer patients over the years in Fiji. And you will hear clinicians, you know, when they're asked to talk to the media, they talk about this. Our people tend to come late to seek health care for cancer, but also for other diseases. And this happens not only in rural-based uh, communities, but also in our urban-based communities. We need to do more to understand why and what we can do as individuals and as a society to address this and improve health-seeking behavior as the consequences, and in particular for cancer, are dire. So we must do more to close the gap. Global statistics show that survival for some cancers such as breast cancer and children's cancer are higher in high economic uh, countries as opposed to low economic countries. The COVID-19 pandemic has also somewhat stalled and even reversed some of the overall gains we have made in cancer care in the last decade. That, however, must not stop us. Our care systems can be reimagined. A person's situation can be improved. Knowledge about cancer can be increased. And their access to cancer care made easier. Together we can close the gap by educating and re-educating the public about cancer prevention, addressing and advocating through policy and programs some of the social and economic factors that negatively affect people's health, equipping our, our, equipping our healthcare professionals better with skills and knowledge for equitable cancer care, strengthening primary health care delivered in our communities, dedicating appropriate resources to reach the knowledge and service gaps, and formulating and implementing context-specific strategies and plans that will work well for our communities. We are grateful for government's commitment to progress cancer care in Fiji. The Ministry of Health and Medical Services Jana, is uh, undertaking um, consultation currently on the new cancer prevention and control plan in Fiji. And we hope to complete this soon to guide and motivate our actions over the next five years. We are also aware of the plans to set up radiotherapy center, radiotherapy services, and a comprehensive cancer services at the Espen Lotopa Hospital in the near future. A significant undertaking and a first for Fiji. It is in line with international cancer experts' recommendations and a major step forward for cancer care, cancer training and cancer research for Fiji and the region once completed. I also acknowledge and thank the work of Fiji Cancer Society, who continues with their tireless work in supporting the health service in Fiji through the support for cancer treatment, palliative care and social support. Uh, Fiji Cancer Society has been active in the training of uh, community health care workers um, and have been working in, with the ministry with the Ministry's Wellness and NCD Division um, in the consultation process for the National Cancer, Pro Cancer Prevention and Control Plan. On the same note, I also wish to acknowledge and thank the tremendous work that WOWS Fiji is doing uh, for children's cancer in Fiji, uh, working closely with the Ministry so that children with cancer from Fiji and the region can access the treatment they need in a timely manner. I also wish to acknowledge and thank all our friends, donors, um, sister hospitals, survivor groups and individuals, spiritual and mental health counseling groups, support uh, organizations and government ministries and agencies who are contributing every day to our collective effort to address cancer and its ramification in our communities. From the Ministry of Health and Medical Services, we salute your passion your commitment and your untiring effort and look forward to working together in the future. What you do matters, so don't stop and continue with your, with your good work. I wish to conclude on two points. First, by acknowledging that cancer sufferers are not free from stigmatization and discrimination. We must not allow any gap created by discrimination due to having cancer or suffering from cancer to impact a person's, a cancer patient's access 
to education, income, social engagement, and least of all, access to healthcare service. And two, do everything in your power to put you and your family in the low cancer risk group by starting a healthy lifestyle. Eat healthy, avoid alcohol and tobacco, do your required physical activity, and reduce your exposure to harmful chemicals and carcinogens. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, have a happy World Cancer Day. We're not going to and thank you.